Nothing says Australia quite like the Opera House. 60 plus women. The start of the 2012 season and Mariko Adachi from Japan went out on an incredible pace out of the water about 20 seconds ahead of the second place woman which included the likes of Jenkins, Moffat and Laura Bennett. And very quickly the Japanese competitor would be joined by a group of about five or six other women pushing the pace very, very quickly. A group of 29 women would eventually be the lead group with a chase group some 40 seconds down at one point that included the likes of Emma Snowsill, Gwen Jorgensen, and as well, Nicola Spirik. Nicola Spirik so powerful on the bike anytime she is in a chase group, you know that they have a solid chance of catching back up. And as the lead group of 29 women continued to push the pace, the chase group with Nicola Spirik up front got down to 18 seconds. Eventually they got down to a tie. They came in a group of 53 or 54 women in one large pack. Lisa Norton, who spent a couple of years living in Australia and got her sport here, even though she's from Sweden, would feel right at home. And as the women came off the bike, it would come down to a runner's race. Erin Densham, who had that big victory just two weeks ago in Malulaba, would certainly have some of the insight on the course. You had to believe with the likes of Emma Snowsill, Emma Moffat, and Emma Jackson, the Australians would be in a good position. But Aaron Denshin would be the Aussie coming through. Andrea Hewitt, who was third at last year's Sydney race, would start to fall off the pace. It would come down to Helen Jenkins, the winner on the London course last year, and the Olympian two-time world champion along with Aaron Densham and as the women went side by side with a mile to go it would be Aaron Densham pulling away she had more on the line had to show the selectors that she would be the woman to beat and Aaron Densham eventually would run away from Helen Jenkins to claim victory in Sydney just a few miles from where she was born and raised Aaron Densham successful in Sydney I've said before and I know what I'm capable of and Oh, I was pushed the whole way there by uh, Helen and Andrea. I, I didn't know if I was going to get over the top of them there, but um, you know, I put in a few little surges and um, finally broke them. And yeah, but today it was just—it's all about focusing on my race. Nothing external going on.